I want to ask you about, there was, right before we came on air, there was some uh, re exclusive reporting by NBC News that Trump is scheduled for a Zoom interview with the probation officer tomorrow. It's over Zoom, which I think isn't typical how it's done, although this is not a typical scenario. How do you expect this to go and what are you watching for? Yeah, so the, the manner is certainly not uh, normal. Uh, usually it's in person, uh, not by Zoom. But y you can imagine because of Secret Service, et, et cetera, that accommodations have been made. Um, you know, this is one where Donald Trump really can, it's it's his to lose. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with his telling the probation office, I didn't do anything wrong and I'm not admitting guilt and I'm planning mm -hmm. on appealing. That's every defendant has a right to do that. But if he were to start saying the kinds of things that he has been saying during the trial and after the trial and attacking the jurors, the witnesses, the judge, family members um, to foment sort of an anti-law enforcement, a false anti-law enforcement sentiment, you know, that's not going to go that well, to say the least. Um, he'll also be asked a lot about his personal finances in terms of paying a fine. He'll be asked about his um, the whether he is associating with criminals. And I mean, his sort of remarkable. It's just a kind of thing that you just focused on with your last guest. Mm. But, you know, he's going to have to sort of discuss whether he still coordinates with Roger Stone, um, Paul Manafort, Steve Bannon. Remember, mm -hmm. all of those people have been found guilty by a jury and are felons themselves. So that's another area where the probation department could ask questions and it'll be interesting to see what Donald Trump has to say about that.